The following is a PFL, your regular season contest in the women's flyweight division and is our co-main event. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She is a striking specialist and stands five feet five inches tall. She weighed in officially at 125.6 pounds and in nine professional bouts has earned a record of five wins and four losses. Fighting out of Oribro, Sweden, Marlin Hermanator Hermanson. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She is a Muay Thai specialist and stands five feet, eight inches tall. She weighed in officially at 125.5 pounds and holds a perfect professional record of seven victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Manchester, England, dangerous Dakota Dichela. The referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. Rich Mitchell is equipped with the ref cam. Dichema in the red, Hermanson in the gray. No touch of the gloves, and we are underway in the co-main event here in Newcastle, England. Movement and footwork early from Hermanson. She doesn't want her legs being chopped into by Dakota too early. She has got good head movement, but that can only solve problems with boxing. There's one of those leg kicks early. It's a good way to deal with the, the leg kicks. Making her miss. It's gonna take a lot of energy to keep this up though. Oh, inside low kick there from Dakota. Hermanson yet to open up. Did you be very willing to switch stances? so she can knee. She's using good head position at the moment. Oh, beautiful knee. Brought that knee all the way up over the shoulder. Not a nasty knee in the body. You heard the crowd. This is where you don't want to be against Zichaba. The knees are very nasty. We saw knees to the head come from nowhere. We saw her finish. In this exact position. The beautiful time. knees to the body and that finish. The timing on her knees is different. She creates just a little bit of space. And beautiful takedown. Excellent work. Did you, did you just put her right leg behind the hips of Malin Hermanson. Pull the right back and into side control. Some good top control here from Dakota. Might be a shot to the system for Hermanson. May not have been expecting this kind of fight. The strong side control position for Dakota, trying to pacify her opponent here, who's still trying to escape. Trying to move into full mount. Good defense so far from Hermanson. Using that head position well. Good pressure, staying around the knees. Hermanson looking to invert here trying to get herself back into an attacking position. Great movement by Dakota, footwork on the feet. I like seeing this from Dichava. I like seeing the growth in her game. We all know she can strike, but seeing more grappling for her is, is promising for the future. And it would be a real statement if she's the only flyweight that gets to finish on the night. You know, we, we had two split decisions earlier in the night in the flyweight division. She's looking for a crucifix, it seems like. She's also got the option to attack that arm around the back of her head. She's got uh, Americana threats there. Oh, yeah, there we go. She's trying to slide over that that near side bicep, but hermanson has got to wrap around her head right now. She's not going to do much with it, but she might be able to bridge and roll her over. 
If Dakota gets her hips too high here, she could be susceptible to being rolled. You can see the redness from that inside low kick already. Okay, you've got to get busy here. You've got to show me something. Oh, there we go. The arms pinned. Good job from Manson rolling in there. Referee Rich Mitchell has called a halt to the contest at three minutes and 52 seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner due to submission by a rear naked choke. The dangerous Dakota Ditchiva! All right, Dakota Ditchiva, submission victory from the striker, the kickboxer. Well, I'm not going to interrupt while you celebrate with mom. I mean, come on. All right, still undefeated, but let's talk about the way that you got this one done. Nasty work in the clinch, and then you pull her back over your leg for the trip and the takedown landing right inside control. From the very beginning of this fight, did you want to showcase your ground skills? Yeah, I really did, and I came out and I did it tonight, and I'm very proud of myself for that. You should be proud. Incredible high-level finish. She scrambles to try and get out, and you pin the, the, the arm behind her back. She can't defend the rear naked choke. You cinch it in. Incredible work. Thank Tell me how you're feeling right now. I'm happy, you know. Um, this week's been a lot. This is the first time that I've felt like, um, well, it's the first time I've carried a show like this, co-main event. Um, I am only 24, not been, in the MMA game too long. Um, it was a lot of pressure this week, a lot of new emotions, but I've enjoyed every second and to come out and get the win again um, and show that I'm not just a striker and these flyweights, you need to be careful. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about this flyweight division because we saw two great fights earlier in your division, split decision victories. I know you're sitting back there assessing the competition. How do you feel like it stacks up to this point? I mean, fair play, the girls are coming and giving it their all, but you get a split decision wins, like, you need to bring a bit more than that if you want to try and knock me out of this competition, because that's not going to work. How does Paris in September sound? I'm excited, but um, I feel a little bit sorry for the one that's going to face me next. <laughs> Dakota Ditchiva, ladies and gentlemen, still undefeated.